the story of one man's fight against the odds. War on waste, crusade against garbage. Assault on rubbish. Captain Cleanup! Captain Cleanup, no one tidies like he does. Captain Cleanup, a cleaner writer tomorrow. Been there, done that. In our lead story, the presidential motorcade has gone green. In a bid to lead by example, the first secretary, who is also the second secretary, has revolutionized his way of travel by reverting back to the environmentally responsible way of getting around. The bid to supply the ox was won by Mandape's company, and my brother-in-law managed to supply the beast to draw the cart, a profitable endeavor all round. The soldiers in the motorcade will no longer carry guns, as these have been deemed environmentally unfriendly. Instead, the government has gone to tender for the supply of catapults, museve and knob carries. This is a clear case of leading the world by example. Kudzaishe being the poop lover of our lord, will be given the tender to clean up after the motorcade. We are mixing and mingling with recycling agent and inventory reduction specialist, Clever One Tola. Let's watch him in action. Neatly done. Putting idle resources to a more productive use. And you're about to watch a recycle of that recycle. Oh, definitely in the presence of a master here, as he goes for a third recycle. What an efficient reuse of resources, a true local talent. Thanks, Mda. And we are also serving the environment. All this could be a, would have been released into the environment. Nothing should be called waste in this world, especially beer. Yes, to us. In a bid to retain our position as the greenest country in the world for the third year running, that's right, we are greener than Sweden, our government is introducing new greening initiatives. We now go live to Parliament, where the Minister of Miseducation and Curriculum Remixing is being grilled over the mandatory introduction of green school uniforms. So from today, today onwards, all school children are going to be required to wear the color green. But on, on top of that, all teachers will be mandated to wear the green uniform. If any successful, this initiative, we're going to roll it out across the whole country, including Parliament. We at Zambezi News are already on the greening bandwagon. I have already submitted my tender to supply the said uniforms. <laughs> Not that I had prior knowledge of this. 
It's always good to see our ministers coming up with ideas that wouldn't work anywhere else in the world. They probably won't even work here. Save water, save the world, flash once. Zimbabwe, the greenest country in the world. Our vision 2020 is to have a pollution-free utopia. Consumerism is the leading source of environmental degradation. We have tackled the problem at the source. We have outlawed fuel for land-based vehicles and airplanes. We have removed the temptation to generate waste from packages and unnecessary purchases. Join us in making the Zimbabwe Vision 2020 a reality. No consumerism, no problems. I am here at the Mega Invent Fest to to interview genius, an upcoming inventor who to date has zero patents to his name, an IQ of zero, but two O levels. One, his mother's, the other, his half-sister, Lovenesses. But genius has defied the odds by inventing the next best thing since Zimbabwe invented shortages and illegal sanctions. Genius, tell us about your invention. Uh, yeah, this is the uh, double-edged matchstick. It can light from uh, both ends. Uh, if you light one end, uh, you still have another. <laughs> That's amazing, genius. <laughs> Tell us, how did you come about this invention? Yeah, uh, uh, there was a pocket uh, and I did a lot of uh, sticks uh, one day. So it came to me, if you can light the candle, uh, uh, both ends, uh, why not the matches? <laughs> but who lights candles at both ends? Anyway... A genius idea indeed, an environmentalist's dream. Fewer trees will be cut down in the making of matches. A smoker's dream too, never run out of matches at an inconvenient time. This is truly a burning innovation. What were you smoking when you made this? It is well known that a rise in population leads to a strain on resources. Think carefully. Do you really need all the things that you consume? Food, air, water, space on the earth? We invite you to join us at our resource-saving initiative, 
die environmentally and donate. Dead. Now should you be feeling ill, we urge you to do the environmentally responsible thing and move swiftly towards the fatal stage. Now don't worry, we won't be wasting any hospital resources on you, no matter how ill you should get. Yes, we will help you speed up towards the end without wasting any resources that we don't have. We won't even be wasting any money on doctor's wages. Now I myself am a nurse, a janitor and a security guard and I earn my living from my little tuck shop just up the corridor. Saving the planet one patient at a time. At Zimbezi News, we support the environment. We recycle news on a daily basis. Sometimes in order not to waste precious natural resources, we just create the news here without any external ingredients such as truth or impartiality. Green, like a million dollar bills smuggled out of our country's mind via a medium-sized Russian plane. We're greener than an 87-year-old typhoid patient stuck in a derelict hospital. Sometimes we even ship reports against a blackboard thing. Zambezi News, recycling news with the planet at heart.